in regards to competency-based education and online education, um, online education, when it first started, it, it opened up education for those that didn't have access to the traditional environment. Um, typically, we're, we're talking about a younger student that can take three or four years out of their life and participate in a classroom environment. Um, online education opened up that classroom environment to people outside of that realm, um, working class individuals, um, single mothers, people that live in a rural setting that couldn't afford to, to come in for whatever reason. Competency-based education, I believe, takes even online education farther. Competency-based education um, brings in the, the time factor and it enhances the time factor a bit on that. So if, if someone that's coming from an engineering background com doesn't have time or maybe doesn't even have the inclination to sit through a math class, for example, competency-based education allows them to progress or show their competence in that mathematical content in a quicker amount of time, rather than sitting for 10 weeks or 18 weeks in a classroom when they already know the information, they can display their competence. So in the end, online education and company-based education together helps them save money and, and provides access to this education that didn't exist before. But it depends on who you are. So if you're in one of my practical um, areas, competency is, is show me the skill. Right. If you're an accountant, show me a balance book. Show me that you can, you know what I mean. Show me that you can, you can do this stuff. Um, if you're a teacher, you know, show me that you can design curriculum. That type. Okay. So that's a kind of a skill-based stuff. Um, intellectual competency is more around application. Okay. So just because you understand philosophy, you know philosophy, apply it to this. Take, you know, take this scholar's work and apply the, the themes to this. So it depends on. What you're ta who you are and what you're talking about, what you need them to know. Um, the thing you have to look at with adaptive technologies is, is that most of them are at that very basic level. So they haven't advanced to the more um, conceptual stuff. They've, they're very much at the definition, you know what I mean? You know, this is what it is, this is what it does, that type of stuff, yeah. So just be kind of aware of that because there's a little bit of difference between that. You have a lot of different universities that are doing this. Um, we focused on quality. Uh, again, we did a backward design, so we pulled in the knowledge, skills, and abilities uh, to develop our competencies, and from that, we actually came up with objectives from those knowledge, skills, and abilities for each objective. And it was validated also by, uh, we took external certifications for those, for those emphasis areas, like marketing, and looked at the knowledge, skills, and abilities for those certifications and made sure that those were in the program. We then had it, uh, we ran it by our um, business advisory board to make sure that we had the right knowledge, skills, and abilities. So we had a number of external resources saying, okay, do we have the right competencies and objectives for those competencies? We then cross-referenced to our current courses. Are we doing anything new? Are, you know, is there something that we need to add?